This is 3229 Hannah. Cute little residential street. Looks like a couple multifamilies at the end of the road there, but no big deal. Siding's a little bit older and some of the wood parts look like they've been painted quite a few times, but still look like they're in okay condition. There's this nice little covered porch area on the side. And not a huge yard, but they've done a good job to still give it a feel of privacy. The AC unit it looks nice. Glass block window is a little, it's got some good cracks in it there. This nice, beautiful tree in the backyard. A couple of branches are overhanging on the house. Right. Nice big living room. Now, normally I'd be iffy on if this needed a coat of paint or not and a carpet shampoo, but there is a certain smell. I can't tell if it's stale smoke. I think it's stale smoke. Um, so a carpet shampoo and a fresh coat of paint in here would be really nice. Um, the fireplace insert is not staying, but that's still a beautiful mantle that will be here. Um, Really a nice size living room and then a very large dining room. Floors look really nice in here. It is neutrally painted, but there's quite a bit of things on the wall. So we would definitely need some patching once they moved out. This is just one of those steel and or a pick peel and stick. <laughs> things that looks like a stained glass, but it's actually a regular window. I think she just did that for some privacy for the people that are right behind her, but it's got a cute little double doors that go into the kitchen. It's a little space here for a table or maybe some more uh, countertop and cabinet space. We would want to paint in here because of that uh, wallpaper there. And the appliances do not match. This dishwasher looks like it's in decent shape, so you could maybe keep that and replace the fridge and the stove. Fridge still looks pretty decent on the inside. Um, this is just a side door here. Looks like they've installed new railings there. Um, and the floor looks fine in here. It's in really great shape. We've got bedroom number one on the first floor. Floors look really nice. It does not look like it needs any paint. It's got a really cute little ceiling design. Actually, there's it might need a little bit of touch up. For the most part, this looks really good though. Nice closet. Here is a little hall closet. And this floor is beautiful here. There's bedroom number two on the main floor. As you can see, it will need Painted. Nice big closet here. And this carpet looks fine. Looks fine. Um, I would assume that hardwood's under this carpet. Um, if down the road you wanted to take that out. And first floor bathroom. Full bath. 
I'd recommend painting. And I believe they said this mirror is not staying, so we would need a, a mirror there, but that's not a not a big cost. Okay, actually let me take you upstairs and show you the stairs. This carpet here on the steps has seen some better days. So you'd probably want to get rid of this. This upstairs area is super cute. So this first room here has these cute doors. It's got the Cape Cod style ceiling. It's got some built-in shelving on both sides, which is really nice. And there's not an actual closet in this room. It's right outside the room. And it is huge. <clears throat> um, what is not huge is this little bathroom here. They have made the best use they could out of this space. There is a toilet, but the wall is pretty low here, so not ideal for anyone taller. Here is another closet here and then another bedroom. Nice big bedroom. Got another closet in here. So tons of closet space. And then this little door here connects to that really large walk-in closet we saw a little bit ago. We will go ahead and check out the basement. meter, water meter, it's got some nice big shelving there, I did spot a little bit of knob and tube, that is the only one I've seen, HVAC definitely looks dated. The hot water heater is 1996, it looks like. So that also is pretty dated. Here is that um, window that's the glass block window that's pretty cracked on the outside and the inside, it looks like. And this one I must have missed, it's cracked a little bit on the outside there. Um, this looks like the washer and dryer hookup. They are Wadsworth little panels there. Have to make sure those are in good condition. And then this door here goes to the garage. It is a really nice big garage. And here is the electrical panel. That's everything.